Evaporation and condensation. It's the continuation of the previous video. The first topic is evaporation. When water and other liquids become warm enough, they change into gas. For example, when you heat water, water vapors evaporate. In short, the water becomes gas. When particles in the liquid change into gas, we say that the liquid evaporates, like a puddle drying up or the washed clothes getting dry. The particle model of evaporation. Evaporation happens when some particles in the liquid gain heat energy. The heated particles start to move faster and move further apart. Eventually, the heated particles move so far apart that they escape from the surface of the liquid into the surrounding air. When a liquid evaporates, it changes from a liquid state to a gas state. So, a liquid, when it's given heat, changes into gas. Now, here is an activity. You will need two identical glasses, water, a permanent marker, a measuring cup or cylinder. Now measure and pour 100 ml of water into both the glasses. Mark the level of water in the glasses with a permanent marker. Put one glass in a warm place and place the other glass in a cooler place. Leave the glasses for two days. Predict the results you expect to obtain. Now say why you made this prediction. Mark the level of water in both the glasses after two days. Now here are a few questions to answer. Was the water level in the two glasses the same after two days? No. Which glass had the most water and which glass had the least water after two days? And was your prediction right? The glass kept in the cool place has the most water. And yes, use the particle model to explain your observation. The particles move at such a speed that they are able to leave the liquid. Suggest a way you can improve the investigation to find out how much water evaporated from both the glasses. You can use it to find out by measuring the amount of water before and after. Why does washing drive quicker on a hot and sunny day? This is because evaporation is faster during summers. The next topic is condensation. You can try this activity. Breathe onto your hand and now check whether the breath feels warm or cold. Next, try breathing onto a window pane or a mirror. What do you observe? And why do you think this happens? The air breath onto your hand is warm, while the air breath on the window pane or mirror is cold. This is because the warm, moist air meets the cold window. It rapidly cools down, losing its capacity to retain the moisture, resulting in the condensation of water droplets or frost on the glass. Now, why do you think this happens? This is because the water vapor in your breath condenses on the glass. The air you breathe out is warm. When the warm air touches a cooler surface like the mirror, it cools down. If the surface is cold enough, the water vapor gas changes to drops of liquid water. This process is called condensation. It's exactly the reverse of evaporation. The particle theory states that condensation happens when the particles of a gas lose energy, when they get cooler. This makes them slow down and move closer together to become a liquid. The opposite happens in evaporation, where the particles move further apart because of the heat energy, while over here the energy is lost 
and they get cooler. Because of that, they move closer together. Now here's an activity. You will need two identical glasses, eyes, water, a measuring cup and a cloth. Look at the picture to see how to set up your investigation. Wipe both the glasses with a cloth. Leave the glasses for 15 minutes and then observe them. Make label drawings of your observations. Condensation activities involve three types of variables. The first one is independent variable. This is the variable that you change in the experiment. The second one is dependent variable. This is the variable you measure or observe. The third one is controlled variable. This is the variable you keep constant to ensure a fair test. The first question is which variable did you observe or measure? It was the amount of water that condenses on the surface. Now what type of variable was this? It was a dependent variable. Which variables did you keep the same? It was the glass. So this is called a controlled variable. Which variable did you change? It was the temperature. Because we changed the temperature of the water. Normal water and cold ice water. What type of variable was this? It was an independent variable. Was this a fair test? Say why or why not? It was a fair test because of the controlled variable. Use the particle model to explain your observations and condensation is a reverse of evaporation. So explain why this is.